My name is Ben Dayton. I'm the managing editor of Cyber Overnight, the world's biggest news service which focuses on the impact of science on people in low and middle income countries. At CyberNet, our aim is to explain science from the point of view of people in low and middle income countries, telling them what science means to them and how it can change their lives. Um, and you can see that we have editors and coordinators from all over the world. And each edition is editorial indep editorially independent. Um, you, we, in this map, the red countries show you where our edition is based. So we have our Latin American edition in Spanish based in Brazil. We have in Africa an English language edition based in Kenya, a French language edition based in Senegal, and an Arabic edition based in Egypt. And then we cover the um, Asia and Pacific region from our edition based in the Philippines, and that edition publishes in English. That's extremely important because we have um, each, all of our regional coordinators act as editors. They are completely independent. They commission stories from a, net, a network of journalists, and then they and then they decide how to write the story, what the priorities are, and what will matter to the readers in that area. And the the countries coloured in grey show where we have um, either a journalist or a contributor. Um, and fundamental to the way we cover science is that we want people, uh, we want our journalists to be on the ground, to be writing about how science affects them and their communities. Um, and so what sets us apart is the way we tell the story. And we, we put a lot of effort into telling the story in a way that really matters to the people um, in that region. And the effect of that is that a lot of our stories have a, a very measurable impact. So here's a, an article we wrote about uh, the rise of antibiotic resistance in India. Um, we focused on this drug cholestin, which is um, being used in agriculture, but at the same time is on the World Health Organization's list of protected antibiotics, of last line antibiotics. Um, following this article, we were, our journalist was contacted by a representative uh, from the Indian Ministry of Agriculture. Um, and as a result of that conversation, colistin was banned for use in agriculture in India. And we feel that that's really a result of our investigative piece here, underlining the link between the use of colistin, the rise in antibiotic resistance, and of course, all the deaths that that entails, um, and the policy failings that underpin that. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.